from the Lord comes the salvation of the just. He is their stronghold in time of despair. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. All we have sinned against, against you. you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, we gave saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs. Grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in giving this instruction, I do not praise the fact that your meetings are doing more harm than good. First of all, I hear that when you meet as a church, there are divisions among you, and to a degree I believe it. There have to be factions among you in order that also those who are approved among you may become known. When you meet in one place, then, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, each one goes ahead with his own supper, and one goes hungry while another gets drunk. Do you not have houses in which you can, have, can eat and drink? Or do you show contempt for the church of God and make those who have nothing feel ashamed? What can I say to you? Shall I praise you? In this matter, I do not praise you. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body, it is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner also the cup, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant of my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in, remem in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Our sponsorial song. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. In the written scroll it is preached for me to do your will. O my God is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, know. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. May all who seek you exult and be glad in you. And may those who love your salvation say ever, The Lord be glorified. Proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Good When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. 
When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of the slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation, and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and let my servant be healed. For I, too, am a man subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes. To my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning to the crowd, he said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord. you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> morning. Today the church remembers the martyrs Pope St. Cornelius and St. Cyprian of Carthage. Uh, both are around the 200s AD in that time period. And I'd like to just focus on Pope Cornelius just for a second, but to do that I want to tell you a, 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 a thing that I learned recently. I may have said it, and if I did prior, I apologize. Uh, we were on priest retreat this year, and the retreat master for us was the bishop of the Diocese of Memphis in Tennessee. And he said something to us, which later our own archbishop would affirm, and that statement was uh, the papal nuncio for the United States of America said right now on average minimum 40 percent of the priest that they contact to become a bishop turn it down flatly don't want it and uh, some of the bishops were like how can that be <laughs> And if you talk to the priest, they're like, why would I? You know, why would you want a diocese where you may be facing scandals that you're having to deal with, closing parishes, bankruptcy? Why do I want to take all that on? Well, now you understand Cornelius. For Cornelius, whenever they ask him to be the Pope, and he would have been the 21st Pope in the line, when they asked him, He's like, ho, 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 no, 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 no. Uh-uh, don't want it. They would have to literally convince him of that role, that responsibility, that duty. And Cornelius had many reasons why he did not want to do it. Uh, but thank God he did. Why? Well, he has to face an issue. Because when St. Paul spoke of their factions and divisions in the church, Paul was saying that, and it's still applicable today, and it was applicable to the time of Cornelius. The big faction was such an emotional faction. Um, and that's the hard ones. Because God, when, you, when, when your heart is into it, you hard to convince a person if they truly believe. Wow. You had some who had renounced the faith during persecutions to save their life or the lives of their family and property. Um, and you had others who went on to become martyrs. They did not renounce the faith. Well, when the persecutions would end, the people who had let, who had renounced asked if they could come back. Now, and this is where it becomes emotionally very hard because I can tell you, if, if I 
watched my wife or child, per se I'm married, um, suffer the cruelty of martyrdom, and the Romans could be very cruel, very cruel. And I had to silently watch all of that. And another person renounced the faith, saved their life, while mine died. Then later that person comes back to me and says, you know what, I, I want to come back. I want to be a member of the faith again. I've had very hard feelings toward them. And I say that. You know. um, but thank God Cornelius was the Pope because he was able to, speaking with bishops such as Cyprian of Carthage, come to a decision. And that decision was no. No. If they are sorry, if they have true contrition, bring them back. Bring them back. Because their dead would want them. Your loved ones who have passed away would want them back into the family. Because it's not so much about the pain and suffering of loss of the body. You don't want to lose the soul. Because their soul is precious. It's so precious, God chose to bleed for it. There's nothing else on earth that precious. So, thank God Cornelius was able to do that for us. And to this day, we benefit because how many of us have, we may not have apostatized in that way, denying the faith, but how many of us have broken a commandment gone away uh, not been faithful only to come back and have that priest in the confessional say I absolve you your sin is forgiven go in peace and we're brought back yeah we all benefit from it so We'll leave you with that to ponder. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. <coughs> Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians who pray for the Lord. Lord, we pray. pray. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who <coughs> care for them. We pray for the Lord. Lord, Lord we pray. We pray for the deeds of our brothers and sisters who watch this mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our chapel today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, pray. Pray. we pray that the infant of the child Jesus will watch over and guide the finances of our two parishes. May we always have enough for what we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayers. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary, the Mother of God, to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Amen. Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. From the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of the church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people, in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, 
And may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us too steadfast in all trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance you grant a firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim the death of the Lord and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Lord in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not only the temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, to await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. O King, the King of the power and the glory of the earth, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, the old hymn who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall have a healed. Whoever loses his life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it, save the Lord. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen. 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 Prayer to Saint Michael. Holy, Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him when we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, Thrust into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through this world, seeking to bring their souls to the Divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood, blessed be Jesus, not the Son of the Sacrament of the Lord. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the prayer of thee. Blessed be the prayer of Mother of God, and Mary most holy. Blessed be the Holy Mary conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, the most chaste Blessed be the Lord, the 